Hello everybody, I'm going to present you today how to make a power bank rechargeable one at home. Alright, so let's get started. For the project of today, we're going to need four of these tiny and inexpensive power banks, like this one, which we're going to take them apart. Alright, inside one of these tiny power bank, there is this circuitry and the lithium ion 18650 cell. All right, we're gonna tear them all apart and we're gonna align the pieces. For the project of today, we're gonna need a 18650 battery holder. Oh, fucking hell. The 18650 cell, and we did uh, keep in mind one with uh, the controller, like so. We're gonna need some wires, like these two. We're gonna need as well some scotch tape, a cardboard, a scissors, a snipper, and a screwdriver, and that's about it. So let's get started. We're gonna take our wires and we're gonna connect them like this one because this one is gonna be in parallel. We're gonna take a wire and we're gonna go one, two, three and four all right we're gonna take the other wire and we're gonna do the same thing one two three and four and now we're gonna sort them and we're gonna proceed to the stage two as you can see from these pictures here, we left it this side and this side a little bit longer. Yeah, so one or two centimeters here and one or two here. This is left in purpose because from this to far and opposite terminal, we're gonna take the plus and minus. It's one of the power bank, like so, and we're gonna cut it in half, like so, right? Alrighty then, now we're gonna take a piece of wire like this, we're gonna bend it in half and we're gonna cut it exactly onto the half. Alright, then we're gonna strip the ends. And remember we have two pieces of wires equally and we're gonna take one and we're gonna solder it over here and the other one we're gonna solder it here and then we're gonna manage to put the wires somehow inside to fit them but they have to be equal you see here you know the control that was inside that power bank has the length of the of these wires equally and we have replicated the same thing we have equal wires and put it one side and the other one on this side and we're gonna decide which one is plus and which one is minus afterwards All right, we have managed to do the case. We got the controller here. We got the plus and minus, the wires. And we're gonna put this stuff in this uh, tiny case that we cut early, all right? All right, this is the position where it's gonna be. So we're gonna start scotching all this stuff up. The process is very simple. We're gonna take a piece of cardboard from the end. We're gonna align them with the box. We're gonna fold the cardboard and we're gonna meet wherever we did started. Yeah, and then we're gonna wrap it nicely. Alright, friends, we are nearly done. We're gonna test now the battery. So plus is minus, minus is plus. Like so, like so. Uh, here, like so. And we're gonna test it with an LED, pretty simple. Yep, working. We're gonna insert all the battery that have been tested before, charged and discharged, so they are well balanced. All right, last one. Once again, the test. Alright friends, 
and we're gonna enclose it in this cardboard case like so and with some minor adjustments you know uh, There you go, there you have it, homemade power bank, cheap, on the go, can be improved, but never know, it's a homemade nonetheless. Thanks all for watching, stay safe, save money, and see you on the next one. Yeah, power bank, man. <laughs> see ya.